What's up, guys? It's your man Aaron here today. Uh, today I'm doing a follow-up on my last video about the Battle of Aventus. So here we got you, Armov, Aventus, and Mont Blanc Explorer. So these three. Last time we talked about the opening of them, and uh, now I'm here to talk about uh, the performance, what they smell like in the dry down. So let's start with the original. With the uh, let's 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 go for longevity first. This the original one is definitely the longest lasting of all of them. This one lasts usually for me at least a seven to eight hours. And um, like after the five, the, the after the fifth hour becomes a, like a close to skin type smell. But still, you can smell it very clearly if you just go this close. So. Performance wise, this is the best um, for Explorer. I've talked about this a couple times before. Uh, it, this one lasts around three to five hours, projects really good in the first two hours. And um, yeah, that's that's the longevity of it. And about our mouth, um, this one is not really stable to me. Um, the opening is is very strong, of course. As most of you know, is very uh, lemon-based, uh, strong smell in the opening. But the longevity is not really good for me, and I've never experienced any time this one lasts more than five hours. So I it usually becomes a very close to skin type smell after the second and half hours, like two point five to three hours. So longevity wise, I would say. Aventus is way up here. Mont Blanc is just a slightly uh, um, better than our mouth. So about how they smell, Aventus to me is the sweetest one among all of them. Is the most floral type smell among comparing to the to the other two, and is smoother. About. Uh, Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc becomes smokier and uh, uh, and uh, as I mentioned, it's vetiver based uh, uh, fragrance. So it becomes a smoky vetiver fragrance after the the mid note, and it also becomes sweeter and sweeter as it uh, dries down. So, uh, but still, n comparing to Aventus is not as sweet, is not as floral, but uh, as, as it dries down, it becomes smokier and uh, eventually too sweet. About our moth, this one, huh, how to say, I've been wearing this for two weeks and I still don't get why people say this is the closest clone, closest clone to Aventus? To me, this is only only like if I'm like doing real talk, this is only like thirty to forty percent like Aventus. From the opening, is not even like Aventus because this one opens with a very sharp lemon and medicinal. Remember this word, medicinal. This one is really medicinal. It smells like a construction place with a lot of paint. So it's very synthetic, is not natural at all. And when it dries down, um, it's still medicinal, but becomes a little more smokier. So in all of them, Aventus is the least smoky smell. It's the most sweet. It's the sweetest. It's the most floral type smell in among of the smoothest. Uh, and Mont Blanc is vetiver plus uh, sweet plus smoky in the dry down. This one, medicinal, 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 and plus lemon. But the lemon dies out after the first uh, what like an hour to to two hours. So uh, to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed at Club Dinuit intense. I thought I thought because people have been talking, say this is close, it's clone to Aventus. Bro, not ready, not ready. If you really want Aventus, just go for Aventus. Save. 
This one is what, like $30? This one, I got this on Fragrance Net for 210 something. Sometimes you can get on eBay with a cheaper price, like 180 or 190 but just save up for the Aventus, for, for, the, for the sake of the best, for the sake of the original spell. So, but still, I love Explore. Arm of. Okay, just the okay. It's too synthetic. It's too medicinal for me. So I don't encourage you to buy uh, Armov if you really want that Aventus smell. It's not that close. It's much more <clears throat> synthetic, medicinal. It's not that sweet. It lacks a lot note comparing to Aventus, which is a good combination. Very smooth, very sweet um, uh, type of smell. So. This is basically my review on all of them. So uh, uh, I guess that's it and I'll see you next time.